Hello YouTube, Jedi Mind 2005 here with a review of the Shuriken Sentai Ninja Ultimonin Series 01 Pound Maru. So this is their first auxiliary mecha helper uh, Pound Maru. As you can see, it is a green elephant, right? And the green elephant will henge into this and have the Shuriken, and then you can make Shuriken Jin Pound and elephant that sounds and axes and somehow axe boomerang and badassness um and then up top here you see the shuriken and it says uh ultimate and shuriken pound maru um sh uh, nin ninja logo uh the it says ultimate in series or one pound maru up top here you see the elephant you see shuriken and pound again oh, on the side uh name and describing look this plus this equals elephant and on this side, this plus this equals this. And on the back, those exact same things all over again. Um, and in the bottom just shows uh, using it on your uh, uh, Ichiban Gata. Ichi, Ninja Ichibanto. I don't know where I got that weird word. Uh, anyway, uh, words escape me this morning. So, uh, you take it out of the box, and what you have is you have this piece, right? You have an elephant head, and you have these two pieces, which are the back legs. And then, the thing that like 90% of people who buy this want, uh, <laughs> is this, right? The shuriken. So you can see it is an Otomonin shuriken, right? Um, and it comes, it actually comes like this, which is just tilted sideways where it's just sitting on there. Um... I think what some people don't realize is that if you leave the shuriken, um, I don't know so much like with the Ultimate ones, if you leave it with the blades clicked in, uh, like all the way, like, uh, if I can, like this, but I'll definitely, if you leave it on Shuriken's head, you will drain the batteries because this little button in here is what activates the Shuriken pound sound or on your regular one the shuriken engine sound and if it stays constantly pressed the batteries will die <laughs> that's just what happens that's what happens in doubles memory gadgets when you leave the memories just sitting in them for, for an extended period of time it drains the batteries so most people keep asking things like did your, your batteries die yet no because i don't leave the helmet on him i leave shuriken engine together but without the shuriken on top keeps the batteries in nice working condition and actually, just to be safe, I keep mine with it unclicked because I'm paranoid like that. Anyway, that little aside, aside, um, this is the shuriken, right? So it clicks. Um, obviously, you see the green blades, which is pretty cool. So I'd imagine if there were a Mido Ninja, it would, his blades would look something like this. His helmet would have that kind of triangular design. Um, this is the face that obviously will become the face of Shuriken Jin Pound. It does lift all the way up as opposed to being stopped. Uh, like you, the Ninja Shuriken um, and how Shuriken Jins goes all the way up. Um, it'll be like this in the elephant mode. Um, the button on the back that makes the sounds and of course the button that releases the blades. So to turn it into an elephant, right, um, what we're going to do is we have a couple of, of pieces here. We're going to take this as the body piece right and we're going to take the shuriken flip this up and clip it onto here like this right and if we're then going to take the legs and pull forward and then down so that it, they sit like that okay all right so you have front elephant legs uh, i'm then going to just plug the head in there's the clips and then the front clips of the uh shuriken Alright, so we have that, and then these back pieces are going to just clip in this clip right onto here. So one, and clip two. Um, the axe blades kind of become an elephant tail, and there we have Pound Maru, ready to run in and help and beat people up with his big trunk and do ninja things, because elephants and ninjas. Okay? Uh, so... Now what we're going to do is we're going to transform him. Let's take a look. Just, you know, 
briefly see the other gold there's the face that we're going to get to in a minute um and the ears the ears do fold forward um we mostly use that when it's in shirt kenjin pound but you can't pull them forward just for you know flap them around like elephants do um and we uh are going to now turn it into a little humanoid robot and actually he can he can kneel he can be like a uh it's like the lion king he's kneeling before simba um <laughs> i don't know why i did that so what we're going to do basically is pull it completely apart again right all the pieces apart uh we're going to pull these back down because now they are legs um pull the shuriken off uh if we fold the head up and then we're going to put the elephant on him directly and basically you see these kind of become hands uh, these will become shoulder cannons so what we're gonna do is there's this plug right back here we're now gonna use this clip on them like this with the blade uh, the axe blade on the inside and then another one on this side so that he's like this he's got shoulder cannons he goes and he blasts yokai um, as such. And now before we do shuriken and pound, we're going to take the shuriken, fold this back down, and we're going to do the sounds with the uh, sword. Which really are sounds you can do just by pushing the button on the back, but it's much more fun with the sword. So that's how we're doing it. My toy, my rules. Um, so we're going to put this on. Alright. Otomonin Shuriken. So, uh, we're going to hit the blue button. Right, and now you get like that stretchy technique where Takaharu just swats people away. And now we're going to summon Pound Maru. Pound Maru. I know you can hear all the sounds by just clicking it. Or I'll pull this off because sword noises are loud. And you know that's also the sound it makes when it summons and then it does Pound Maru afterwards because I don't know. That's just what they do in the show. So that is going to be uh, the sounds with the shuriken. As usual, not a lot, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to get Shurikenjin in here. We'll pull him to the side, right? Shurikenjin. Uh, where is... Let's see, let's see we're gonna, now, we're gonna, now that we're doing something, we're going to put his head on. Okay. So there we go, Shurikenjin. Still died. That's amazing. Weird. Shouldn't have died. I haven't done anything. Oh well. I'll have to find batteries. Uh, so I guess that little rant at the beginning was for nothing. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> normally, what I said should have worked, but I don't know why these. They must have put some really shitty batteries in here. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to take this arm off, right, and take the sword out of it. Put it aside. We're gonna pull this off. This is really useless now. That sounds. That's 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 upsetting. Um, we're gonna pull him out, All right? And uh, move these out the way. All right, so one and two. Damn. Come out of there. There we go. All right. So now let's put this down. We're going to make him into an arm. Uh, just like we did when we made Shurikenjin Durago. All right. So, arm, and we're just going to put him where the dump arm was, because that's not going to look silly in the slightest. Okay, then we're going to pull this these cannons off. All right. We're going to pull the ears forward. Put the legs back in that forward elephant position. And then we're going to stick him in where Shinobi Maru was. Alright, so. Alright, we're just going to kind of fold 
in the handles as though he's holding it. Right, so beautiful, very nice. So now we're going to we're going to put the shirt in it. Oh, here it is. So we folded out the head. Beautiful. All right. So now he needs weapons. So let's put this down. We'll get the weapons, and I'll explain how this works. So you got the you got the little blades in the feet. So what happens is we got this part back here. We fold it out. Right now it can be held in his hand. This one actually goes in the Drago hand. The the bladed part goes on the inside. All right. So fold out. And here. And now we have. His double axes, and now we have Shuri Kenjin Pawn. Really cool. Uh, I like him a lot. Uh, I love the idea of just like this little elephant dude sitting in the middle. I love these mecha a lot. I, it's a really weird concept and really different, and yet I still like it a lot. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna make him an elephant again, or actually, we'll make him the little man again, so I can have the, the shuriken separate. All right, so here's the shuriken. Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, so yeah, these I like these guys. They're pretty cool. The next one is uh, UFO Maru, or as they say it, UFO Maru, because the accents in Japanese. Um, and uh, these things are really, you know, they're inexpensive, and they do give you a new set of blades that you can put on any shuriken and kind of do whatever you want with. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the ones they come out with next. Um, I know there's a Surfer Maru, and then there's the ones that come with the one that comes with Bison King, which I think is like um, what's it called, Rodeo Maru, I think, something like that. Um, the one thing I didn't do is that other arm we pulled off that was Dump Maru's arm. That you, there is a port on the back of Shurikenjin that you can stick it, and I didn't do that. I mean, you you don't have to. Um, it looks really dumb, not gonna lie, but uh, I completely forgot because I had put the arm to the side and saw it afterwards. Um, but it does keep all the pieces together from getting lost. So that's pretty neat. Uh, until next time, check out the podcast, RogerRangersAndRambles.com, bringing you the latest Tokyo news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.